Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here, bringing you guys a new franchise mode here in NHL 18. We are going to be doing Phantoms Franchise. That is right. So we are going to be paying basically all of our attention on the AHL team rather than the NHL. So how's this going to work? Well, first of all, what I wanted to do was do a franchise mode by putting the actual Phantoms as the NHL team, like substituting them for the Flyers, which I kind of could have done if I wanted to swap the rosters, but that would have been too much work. So what we are going to do instead is basically we are going to pay all of our attention on the Phantoms players. We are not going to play one single game in the NHL. All right, we might sim like when it comes to playoffs and stuff like that, and maybe we'll watch a Stanley Cup or something like that, but we're not going to actually play. So, basically, this is what we got going on in the a in the AHL right now. No big promising prospects, really, except for Lindblom. Um, that's pretty much it. Maybe Vorobayev. Uh, de defense, we have a lot. We got Hagen, Moran. Maybe Friedman can grow, and definitely Felipe Myers. But, um... But we'll see what happens. And then for goaltenders, we have Anthony Stolarz and Alex Lyon. So basically, we want to get these guys up into the NHL and never see them again down here. So we want them to do really well. We want to develop these players, send them on their way, and never see them again in a good way. Because we want them to be good enough to play in the NHL. And I am going to be in charge of the NHL team. This is our NHL team right now. There are a couple guys I thought about like sending down. I just did auto rosters, and Patrick's a depth forward, so I didn't want to put him. Trust me, I'd rather have him instead of Dale Weiss. But um, but I want him to grow, and I know you're supposed to keep them with their role. So, so yeah, that's basically what we got going on here. The goalies are Elliot and Mrazek. I put Noivereth on the trade block, so he's currently scratched, only because Mrazek can grow. Noivereth really can't anymore. So. We'll definitely see what happens. I'm very excited for this um, for this uh, series. I think it's going to be a very interesting one, uh, no doubt about it. So guys that I really want to see develop are Lear, Lindblom for sure, Vorobayev, Martel. I don't think Vecchion is going to develop, but, well, he could. We'll see. Abe Kubel I'd like to see grow, and that's probably the only guys. And Goulborn. Uh, I hope I said that right. And then on defense, we have Haig, Moran. Those guys are definitely more than capable of growing. Friedman, I'd like to see grow, and Myers. And then I really want to see Lyon grow because he was a. I really liked him uh, during the regular season when we had to call him up. So I would like to see him uh, grow and develop in the farm system. So, so yeah, that's basically how this is going to go. I haven't even played an AHL game, I don't think, in NHL 18. So this is going to be a little strange. But I'm excited for it. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how this goes. Um, did I do a like goal yet? I don't know if I did. But let's go ahead and hit 300 likes this episode. I know we can do it. So go ahead, hit that like button, show that love and support, and subscribe. And join the Dorsal family if you guys feel ever so kind. So we're going to do four-minute periods, all-star difficulty. I'm hoping that everything will be okay. This is kind of what I had everything at, I think with the door souls but i'm not sure so um so i'm excited for this i definitely am banished wheeze yeah trust me i i might we might trade them we got a smaller arena here i think it'll be cool though i think this will be a pretty awesome series i do want to go further into it than we like i don't want to play a lot of games each season if you know what i mean so um oh they have ahl career stats that's pretty cool Michael Leighton. I wonder if that's his NHL, though. I don't know. I don't know if he's played that many NHL games, so that might be his AHL stats. Stanley Cup goalie, Michael Leighton. But they gave up that softy. All right, well, we'll see what happens here. Hopefully the sliders are, you know, to my liking. Big hit by Moran. Yes, it is. I got to meet him at the development camp. That was awesome. All right, up to Lear. See if we can get an early, uh, early goal here. I don't know what I was trying to say there. This is going to be fun. I didn't know he was with the uh, the Penguins, though, Leighton. I had no idea. Where does the AHL players get players if AHL players get injured? Um, 
free agency pretty much or you can trade or there's usually a lot of scratch players on your AHL team like we have a good amount oh he missed that yeah we definitely want to get that back I mean Stolarz is actually a backup goalie that's what his role is so he he's good enough to go up to the NHL now but I want him to grow at least to an 80 before we call him up or a 79 oh geez that's not what I wanted to do at all <laughs> my bad on that one. Oh, that is nowhere near what I wanted to do oh man thank you guys so much for the bits and real realness Realms, thank you for the follow welcome to the dorsal family my man my favorite player is Scott Hartnell on the Flyers it's Sean uh, Couturier I'm really excited to see um to see Carter Hart though for sure very excited to see him oh no that was dumb Oh, damn it. I need my team to pay attention. I know that was dumb, but, um, oh, my bad, guys. That was a dumb goal. Not how I wanted to start this series out. All right, up to Martel. Nice move. Maybe we can capitalize here. Oh, almost. I don't know what late Leighton's overall is, though. Oh, that was such a dumb move. Yeah, I don't like the home team wearing white either. I know that's how it used to be, though, a long time ago, but I don't like it. That's just me, though. We try with the hit. Yeah, dumb play by me. That goal shouldn't have even happened. Come on. But Freeman's medium, and remember, potentials can change. Like, they can always go, like, he could become an elite if he really did that good. You know what I mean? It's pretty rare, though. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I was trying to switch players. I wasn't expecting that to happen. I hate when that occurs. It's so annoying. I should have passed that. Hopefully, he's not hurt. I like playing with the AHL guys, though. It is fun. And it's you can tell it's a different atmosphere. Oh, man. Defense ain't too good, though. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, this is a new series. Yes, yes, yes. It is. All right, here we go. Come on, guys. Time to wake up here. Probably shouldn't have Myers going after him. Yeah, I might have to change the, the sliders because I remember I was having a lot of issues with something. I forget what it was, but I feel like I'm having that same issue again. Here we go. Oh, nothing. I'll bay Kubel. Nice. There we go. Nice. All Bay Kubel finally opens up the scoring. Should be 1-1, but we gave up some silly goals. So, uh, where do I think Eric Carlson is going? I don't know, actually. We'll take him. The Flyers will take him. I don't think the Flyers need... Well, I mean, we have up-and-coming defensemen. Like, we got Myers. I'm hoping Sandheim will be productive. Um, and I think even the the... The Phantom guys and like CHL guys are supposed to be pretty decent. But we'll see. We will definitely see what happens. Alright, good job by Still Lars. What's going on, Dozen Bubble? And thank you guys so much for the bits. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Alright. That's actually not a bad challenge idea. Send the 2018 playoffs, but with the AHL teams instead. Oh, that should have been a goal. Uh, keep it in. No, not going to happen now. Here we go, Goldborn. Tom Sestito? Is that the same guy? I didn't know he still plays if that's him. There's no way that's Tom Sestito. I remember him on the Flyers. Man, was that guy a trash talker. He was kind of annoying, too. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, I'd hate to play against him. Here we go, carry. Oh, that's nowhere near who that was supposed to go to. Don't get it, still, Lars. I got it. All right. Here we go, Verone. Phil Verone, look at this. Okay, never mind. I lost it. <laughs> that was weird, though. I don't think I've ever gotten like that lane before. Oh, I needed him on the other side. Here we go, Brennan. Oh, oh man. Thank you guys so much for the bits. I appreciate it. And the Hockey Pro, thank you for the follow, man. Welcome to the Dorsal family. 
We go up to Wheel, who's probably good enough to play in the NHL. But we're trying to develop him, get him a little bit better. You know what I mean? All right, we got the third line coming back out here. I'll bay Kubel. I'm hoping these guys can grow, though, especially Martel. I, I really liked him getting called up. Nice! I don't know who that was. But I think Kubel got the assist, yeah. Verone, maybe? Or is Verone on the fourth? I can't remember. I don't know who that was. Chris Connor. He's the one who got the goal tied up already. What do bits do? It's basically donations. But every bit is a penny. That's how the uh, bits work. All right, here we go. Lear. Oh, he gets hit, but Limbloom's got it. Nice move. Oh, but he can't get it past Leighton. And... Oh, geez. Okay. And one second left, and it will be an easy save for Stolarz. All right, so the defense could have been a little bit better, I think, but I'm not too disappointed with what I'm seeing so far. So I like it. I like how this is going. All right, so we have two on five. They have two on nine. So they have more shots than us for sure. But, yeah, if you guys have any, like, recommendations for the series, let me know. I mean, I think we I pretty much announced everything that I really hope to do and, like, my goals for it. So, but I think it's going to be a, definitely a fun series without a doubt. Oh, man, that almost went through. Haig. Oh, okay. That's all right. But basically, we just want to develop these guys and send them up. You know what I mean? Of course, we can do trades and stuff like that. All that is fair game. But, yeah. I think it'll be a fun series, definitely. I'm very excited to uh, to get it going, for sure. Oh, I thought that was a goal. Nice block. That could have been bad, though. Up to wheel. Oh, not a good pass. Alright. Should probably switch up the lines. Nice block. Here we go, Vorbaev. Good poke. That's alright. I want to get the defense off, though. Moran. Nice hit. Oh, somehow. Oh, my gosh. Don't go in. Nice, Stolarz. Great play. That could have been very bad. Alright, let's get the defense off. Vorbaev with it. Ah, I lost it, but he's, he got it back. Brennan still has it. Oh, shoot. I don't know what he was doing there, but okay. So I guess a 70 is, like, considered an 80 in this, maybe. Like, in the AHL, you know what I mean? Like, I just don't know what's considered, like, a star player in the AHL. Like, obviously, a 90 would just be OP, but... Oh, nice! Corbin Knight. All right. Oh, there goes my control. <laughs> oh, man. Nice job there by Corbin. Judging by the celebration, is that a, a milestone? Just his first goal of the season. Maybe it's like a certain AHL milestone. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I might have missed it. All right. Good stuff, though. Make the home team wear the dark jerseys. I could do that in the future. I could definitely do that. I'm all for that. Just like every game we play. Wear away. Wear white if we're away. But I'm liking this team. They're doing pretty good. Albe Kubel is, like, the only guy that I'm hoping to see do well that scored so far. Corbin Knight's kind of done. I think he's a fourth-line forward, though, is his role, but I, we don't have space for him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, don't be a penalty. Okay, good. All right, but, yeah, we're doing very good, and I think we have a killer goalie with Stolarz. Oh, by the way, uh, Felix Sandstrom, who's actually one of the Flyers' top prospect goalies. Like, it's expected to be him and Carter Hart uh, in the future. So, uh, Sandstrom was a free agent, so I signed him. But he's like 50 overall, 50-something 50 overall at 20 years old. And like low fringe starter or medium fringe starter. I think he's medium fringe starter. 
So I was like, yeah, what the heck? I'll sign him, make him back up once we call up Stolarz, because I'm sure we will. Or if someone gets hurt in the AHL, have him play. So I haven't heard back from him for the contract. So nice hit by O'Neal, though. Oh, okay. And I have it so the computer automatically does, like, the uh, the strategies and all that. I have that on automatic. I should, at least. I think I do. Let me see. Maybe not. I actually might not. Let me let me fix that, because I, I don't like doing that myself. Uh, gameplay sliders. AI. Uh, user... We'll just do four out of six. I don't know what I had it on for my last, but okay. The Penguins are starting back in the defensive there we go. Because I don't like doing it myself. Because I barely know what a lot of them mean. So, <laughs> pass that out to Haig. Haig I called up in my flyers, I think, pretty quickly. All right. Oh, geez. Good reconsider there. Moran. Nice try, but not going to go in. Right, let's get the first line out here. 131 left to go. But, like, these guys could be probably a... I don't know if they'd be that good of a fourth line, like, right now. Maybe if I was actually playing the games, I could be good with them, but... They'll probably be really good to, uh, for the AHL, I would think. Oh, that could have went in. But Lear's a high bottom six. I know that. So high is always good. But we'll see. We shall see what happens. But I've heard of guys that, like, I remember reading something. Some guy had an AHL top six that grew to a, um, what was it he grew to? He was a high, or he was like an AHL top six. I don't know if it was high, medium, or low. But he grew to like an 86, and I'm like, what? How does that happen? So, unless he plays on like rookie, and he actually plays all the games, and maybe that guy does good, I don't know. But I think when you actually do well with a player, that can actually determine how well they do. You know what I mean? Oh, stay with that, Lear. Nice. That's all right. Good try. Nice. That's a wheel. All right. Oh, I was going to try for a wrister there. Damn it. Yeah, but I don't know who's going to be the first guy called up. I'm going to say either Lear or Wheel, probably. That's my guess. But obviously, we still want our NHL team to do well. But we're probably only going to play a few games every year, like maybe five. I don't know. I'm not sure because I want to go far into this. So... I'm kind of tempted to do, like, auto rosters, though. Just so I don't have to keep doing injuries and stuff like that. And I don't want to turn off injuries. So, as much as they suck. Because they happen so often in this game. Alright. Come on, Moran. It's not Morin, apparently. It's Moran. Nice keep at the blue line so the attack. Nice. Let's see if I can get that. Oh, that was a bad pass. But that's all right, because Moran's got it. Oh, nice try. Great save, though, by Leighton. Oh, that's not good. That's all right. Oof, that was a little scary. <laughs> What's going on, J-Cap? How are you, buddy? And Ryan, thank you for the follow as well, buddy. Appreciate it. Welcome to the Dorsal family. Ooh, not the best pass. Did we get a penalty? I don't think we... No, we did. I forget what it was, though. But I remember they scored... Great, now they tied it. Uh, bad play there. Definitely. Very silly goals that we're giving up, that's for sure. I'm debating who I want to put on the thumbnail. I don't know who I want to put on it. Maybe Martel? I can, next year will be fun, because we'll have LaBurge, Frost... Uh... Radcliffe, Strom, Hart. Hart ain't going to be in the NHL right away. I'm telling you that right now. 
Myers was actually scratch every time I did like auto roster or auto best lines. But I'm like, I want this guy to play. He ain't getting scratched. Press that out. We're good. We go O'Neal. Up to Connor. Ah, not a good shot to take. Maybe I'll bump him up to five minute periods. I don't know. I feel like that there haven't been a whole lot of shots this game. So I might do five minute periods. Maybe change the sliders to what I have for the dorsals as well. Shoot. Oh, damn. Sorry, get stay okay, that works. Ah. Took a look, didn't like what he saw. Goldborn. Good try. Good shot. Ooh, hit. Here we go. Oh, man. I thought I had a goal there. Good try. But, yeah, I definitely want to uh, put a fan as the thumbnail. No worries, Cougars. What's going on, buddy? Welcome. All right. Here we go. Good face-off win. Oh, Knight can't get the goal, though. Can't even get it on net. Well, I'm not letting Sestito get a point here. All right, good play. Juan Martel. Up to Vorobayev. Here we go. Oh, man, just got a glove on it. Oh, Martel. Oh, okay. Sorry, had to take the shot. Had to take the shot. Oh, I didn't want to get hit there. Brennan. Oh, nice. Badly aimed, though. Right at his mask. Nice hit. All right. We definitely should win this game. Playing very well now. I like it. Here we go. Up to Vorbaev from Friedman. Let's see if I can get that over. There it is. Martel breaks the tie. One of the guys I really want to see get called up. All right. Four to three now. Put them together, and that's my favorite number. <laughs> his first goal of the season. Great job. By Danik Martel. Friedman and I think Vorbaev are going to get the assists. I think Vorbaev passed it to Martel. Leighton and not looking like a very good goalie here. He's got to be up there in age. I don't remember how old he was, though, when he played for the Flyers. But I don't think he was young. I thought he was, like, close to 30. And that was, like, eight years ago. So. Okay, we don't want them to tie it. Oh, penalty? Oh, no, the net's off. I was like, what happened? Got a little confused there. What videos are going up tomorrow? A uh, challenge video, if I can get... Oh, by the way, this is going up Sunday for those of you on YouTube. But um, but I'm streaming this actually on Friday. So these went up yesterday for those of you on YouTube. But anyway, um, I will be uploading... Oh, Connor. Maybe. Nope, lost it. Uh, I will be uploading a challenge video at... Oh, geez, nice play. By Haig. Probably saved a goal there. Uh, I will, we will be seeing a great save again. Oh, man, that was almost bad. All right, Albay Kubel going to try and get his second goal right here. Ah, oh, badly missed there. Uh, we are going to see if a goalie can get a Gordie Howe hat trick at 3 p.m. tomorrow. And also, we will be seeing if... Um, oh, what was the other one? One Vecchione. Ah oh, man, I missed the net. Damn it! It's hard to score backhander uh, on the on an open net. But um, and then at one, I will probably be doing a Great Britain franchise. So um, so yeah, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let me know how excited you are for this series, and if you guys have any ideas for it. I do think I want to change the sliders though, because I don't like how um there haven't been a whole lot of shots. So. I think I have to change some things up. But uh and this is regular season by the way. This is regular season. But um but I think this is going to be a fun series and I hope you guys are are uh excited for it as well. But uh let me know how many games you guys would like to see a season and hopefully next time we uh we do this a lot of the players have grown. So guys, that is going to do it. Do it. That is going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next episode. And thank you all so much for watching. Peace.